Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to make an animated shape divider in Elementor. So normally the dividing point between two sections looks something like this. We'll transform this linear divider to an animated shape divider. So without further ado, let's see how can we make that. So here in this page between these two sections, here I want to create this animating shape divider. So for this, first of all, we need to go to a website, shapedivider.app, and from here we can generate our shape divider. So from this option, you can create different types of shapes like triangle or book, but I want to keep it this default shape waves, and then I want to set a color for this. So here, if we go to our this edit page. Here as I want to put our shape divider between this section, so I also want to make this shape divider color to this red color. So for this, let's go to the section settings and from the style tab, here you can see we have used an gradient color. So I just want to copy this red bottom color from here and go again to this website and here in this color field. I want to paste that exact same color code. Okay, now it has become this red color. So right now let's download this shape by clicking on here and click on download SVG. Now let's close this and go back to our this page. And here first of all I want to create a new section by clicking on this plus icon and also on here. And inside this I want to add an image widget drag it to here let's upload our this newly downloaded image okay but here we can see an error because by default in wordpress we cannot upload this dot svg type of images so first of all we need to enable uploading svg image from our dashboard so let's go to our dashboard and go to this elementor here under advanced you can see this option enable unfiltered file uploads let's enable this and click on save changes now let's go back to again here and if we now upload our this image okay now it's successfully uploaded so let's click on insert media and here the first thing i want to do i want to make it to full width so go to the section settings and here make the content width to this full width and i also don't want this gap so let's make this column gap to no gap okay then let's go to this image settings and i also want to make it to full width so go to this style tab and make it to 100 percent then here i want to add an animation with this image so for this let's go to the section settings and from this advanced tab here in this custom css field we will paste some custom css code and by the way to use this custom css feature you have to have the elementor pro so if you didn't have elementor pro we can quickly get this from my link on the description so let's paste our code to here and you can see it's start animating from the right to the left side and at the top from here we can also control the speed of this animation it's now 20 second if we make it to only two second now we can see it's first moving to the left and again go back to the right but here we can see when this image goes to the left side here the right side of this section remains empty so to get rid of this i want to make this image width at least 200 percent so here instead of 100 percent let's make it 200 and also make the max width to 200%. Okay, now we can see our full images during our full animation. So right now, for this moment, I want to just disable this animation. So let's go to again this section and for this custom CSS, I want to clear all of this. So now I want to add some more images in this section. So let's right click on here and click on duplicate. So for this second image, I want to place this at the same position of our this first image. So let's go to this image settings and go to the advanced. 
let's make its position to the absolute okay now you can see these two images are at the same position and these two are overlapping over each other so right now to control this properly let's get the help of navigator and here you can see this is our first image and this is our second one now here i want to make these two images two different style so we can actually see our two different layers here for this first image instead of 200 percent i want to make it to 300 and also for this 300 and also let's set a height 300 pixel i want to also reduce its opacity 0.25 okay now we can clearly see our these two separated layers then let's go to the second image and for this one i also want to add some variation like the height to 50 pixel and like this let's also add some more images so let's duplicate this one and go to its style make its width to 300 percent also the max width 300 percent and here i want to increase its height let's make it to 220 pixel also reduce its opacity okay then here with this image to add more variation i want to just flip this image so to flip this let's go to its advanced tab go to custom css and here just paste this code and our image has been flipped to the left to right so it's something like an mirror effect and lastly i want to add our last image so let's duplicate this third image and here again go to style let's make it to again 200 percent of width make its height like 150 pixel so now you can see these multiple layers which looks really very cool so lastly we need to add a background with our this section so here i want to use the same background of our this bottom section so if you go to this section settings and go to the style here we can see this dark color so let's copy this color code and i want to paste that color code for this section so here in this style tab in this background option let's paste our code here and lastly i want to again enable our animation so go to the section settings and from the advanced here let's again paste our that previous code snippet and here don't worry about this code snippet i will give all of the code snippet link on my description you just need to copy and paste that code to here so right now if we look at our this preview here we can see our page looks really good but here as we add a new section here the spaces from this divider to this section looks really very big so i want to reduce that let's go to this section settings and here on the advanced here we have set some top padding i want to reduce this to fully zero okay now that looks good so lastly i want to check this from our tablet device so go to this responsive option let's click on this tablet icon and here you can see this shape divider looks really very really squeezed so here for this tablet device i just want to reduce the height of these images so for the first image i want to reduce this to 140 pixel let's also reduce all of these images height so for our second image i want to make this to 30 for this one let's make it to 120 pixel for the last one it's 100 pixel so right now you can see this looks much better let's also check this from our mobile device so here everything looks good but here for this bottom section if you also want to reduce this gap from here to here you can also use some negative top margin so let's go to the section settings and from this advance i want to make the top margin to minus 20 pixel all right now that looks great so that's how you can create this cool animated shape divider on your elementor website if you enjoyed this tutorial then don't forget to like and subscribe thank you so much for watching i'll see you on my next tutorial